morning, fans. Diane Cardano Kasashi with the January Hot Off the Press Market Report. I'm excited to talk to you about this month's market report. So let's get to it. Despite last year's gloom and doom predictions about where the economy was headed, economists are now changing their views and the news is really good. Let's look at the first slide. According to senior economists at Realtor.com, housing remains a solid foundation for the U.S. economy going into 2020. Randy fans, the housing market is so strong, it is actually preventing the recession from taking place. Take a look at this next slide for some great news. The National Association of Realtors, the Mortgage Bankers Association, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, each of them project going forward into 2020 that we will have more homes sold than we did in 2019. Is that fabulous? So take this year's increased sales and add to these new projections and then, so we're gonna have like this really, really, really good 2020. Part of the reason for the optimism there is that Freddie Mac has to say is about interest rates. Take a look at this next slide. We expect mortgage rates to remain low over the next two years, averaging 3.8% in 2020 and 2021. As a matter of fact, there are some experts that think they might even go below that, under 3.5%. So interest rates are projected to be nice and low over the next two years, and that will continue to drive the market. So everything looks like it's heading in the right direction. Interest rates are down, buyers are up, and they really want to buy, and they're taking advantage of these rates. So that's a sweet and sassy recipe for lots of home sales. That's great news, right? Well, there's one challenge. The biggest issue to the housing market is your home going on the market. It's low inventory. We need you to come on the market. You're gonna have a great price. Time to call me. I just listed a home in Glenside, Abington section before I looked at the comp I went to look at the comparables. And I saw there's no homes on the market in Glenside, Abington between 250 and 350. Wow. I can't imagine how much foot traffic that's gonna to bring to this home. So let's look at this next slide referencing the month's supply of unsold inventory. As you can see, the latest numbers of month's supply of inventory is down from last year and down from last month. So the month supply of unsold inventory is definitely decreasing. Remember, a normal market, an average market would have six months inventory. And right now, we're down to 3.7, and they're projecting that might continue to fall. So if you remember last month, we talked about the winter month slowdown of homes going on the market because home sellers believe there's not a lot of buyers out there in the winter. However, that's not the case for 2020. Check out the next slide from Senior Economist from Realtor.com. As millennials embrace homeownership and take advantage of this year's unexpectedly low mortgage rates, demand is outstripping supply, causing inventory to vanish. The issue is further compounded by the fact that sellers tend to be more reluctant to list during the colder time of the year when the market typically makes a seasonal slowdown. So now we're looking at the fact that more and more buyers are coming out earlier and earlier. As a listing expert, every year, I have my home sellers getting started as early as possible. I've been doing this for the past few years. And in the past two months of blog posts, I've been stressing how important it is to list your home as early as possible and give me a call now. But studies um, have come out to confirm what I've been saying, okay? A recent study came out by move.com. Let's take a look. This study showed, one, that people have begun the home search earlier each year since 2015. Two, the study also showed that January 2019 fell just one percentage point behind February for the highest number of views per listing. And the last thing that the report st says was in 2000, that that was 220% of the large markets, January saw the highest number of listing views in 2019. So overall finished in second place, but in 20% of the large markets, it finished in first place. Meaning January right now is the time that buyers are out there. If you're waiting for the spring buyer's market to sell your home, you're waiting too long. Don't wait for the rest of the competition to come out when the buyers are out right now. I love this graph showing the latest report in buyer foot traffic. Check it out. This slide shows that every region saw a huge annual increase in buyers scheduling appointments with a real to see at home. It went up in 13% in, North, in the Northeast. Imagine that. I'm so excited about 2020. Please call me as soon as possible to get started, to beat out your competition. So if you, you or someone you know is thinking of selling the home now, next six months, or five years, it's always good to learn more about my advanced real estate planning strategy, which includes advice on how to fight the home selling sharks that eat away your home's value. Or do you just call me to come to my next home seller seminar, April 4th, Saturday at the Hilton Garden Inn in Fort Washington at 9.30. 
and join me for an 8.30 full breakfast and a meet and greet with Don Giordano. To register for the Home Shark Seminar, you can go to homesharkseminar.com or just call me at 215-576-8666. See you in two weeks. I'm going to show you how I got $60,000 more for a home by using my expert marketing strategies. See you in two weeks.